<laughs> so, hello everybody, what is going on dudes, it is Kibushimaki here, and welcome back to some more wonderful Mother 3. Last time, if you did remember well, uh, we went ahead and uh, took care of, well, we didn't take care of anything really. Um, let me see, let me recap myself real quick, because I'm having a little brain fart. Um, last time... We went ahead and cleared up the way for Doria, just so that way we can get the next needle, and well, made way through the cricket, uh, the mole cricket hole, to get to the next um, potential needle to pull. And as this ten yet practically kicks our butt, kind of, um, yeah. As you can see, we're dealing with a lot of snow enemies. So what you can guess, bet your best line of defense against them is really to just kind of hit them with uh, fire as quickly as you can. Honestly, um, I don't even know why I was wasting so much of my time during that last battle. I could have just fired and yeah, probably taken care of them in one go. Yeah, in one turn I could have done that. I don't know why it took so long last time. But oh well. Uh, we get ourselves a secret herb, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and let's check what this is. We get ourselves a double jerky, which will go ahead and heal up 160 health. Um... It looks like no one but Lucas really needs the health at the moment. Uh, let's see, let's just keep on moving. Let's see what's up and what's everywhere. And yeah, just take care of this. There's sometimes where I guess I just don't mind uh, cutting and not cutting. It's weird like that, but yeah. Um, I went ahead and stocked up on a bunch of items off screen. I got a bunch of sincerity dumplings just because we're going to be needing it coming up. And um, yeah. There you go, earned a good chunk of experience. There you go. Let's head up over here. Let's see. Oh, we got another Yip 10 yet again. So let's take care of him. There you go. Lucas is level 32, which is pretty awesome. Just hurry up and rush up before the damn ten yet stops us. There we go. Let's head over here because if we do, oh, we get ourselves a little cancer bracelet, but also there was a chance of running into a really rare enemy, and if you'd like to grind for it, I'd say it's actually really good to go after it now. Um, if you want to complete your um, little journal thing. Ah, damn it. Um, let's give... actually... Let's... Uh, damn it. Let's give that to Lucas. No. Then let's give it to Kumatora, who can equip it. Um, I can drop the Tauros bracelet because I don't really need it, and there we go. Jeez, after that weird assortment. Oh Let's see if we keep on pushing forward. Let's see where this takes us. There we go, and Kumatora is level 29, which is pretty okay. Um, ah, damn, 10 yet. Run! Ah, oh, that was very bad. Let's head up here. We see we're getting rather close, and hey, look, it's the item guy. Hi there, I'm a friendly item deposit guy. How can I help you? Um, I don't think there's anything for us to deposit at the moment. Is there anything that we can with anything useful that we should withdraw? I went ahead and just deposited Doria and Aeolia's mementos, just so that way we can use them for later. Uh, doesn't look like there's much. Guys are watching you guys. Yep, thanks item guy or dude. I see that we have a frog. Yes, we definitely need something. Um, well, what we can do is we can deposit those. Then... Um... Watch, okay. I'm dead, aren't I? Uh, uh, damn it, okay. Mm, 
Okay, there we go. That feels so much better. Uh, give this back to Kumatora. There you go. She has a full inventory. Let's go ahead and let's save up because it's actually really nice that we can. There we go. It looks like we're right here just in front of Lydia's house, which is awesome. And sounds like a mole cricket. Hello there, sir. <laughs> I'm a mole cricket, I followed you here. I'm studying, you see, I have an undying sense of curiosity. It's the call of the wild and all that. Uh, for whatever reason, I picked up all sorts of stuff along the way. Please let me use them to conduct business. Yeah, sure, Let's see what he got. He's got sincerity dumplings, the warm sweater, the bantam charm, which we're gonna wanna get, bear hats, the white ribbon, and that's about it. There's a lot of items here that I uh, have to sort through and figure out. So yeah, thank you. I'm still new to this, but I'm going to work as hard as I possibly can. And these will be our practical item shots for the time being. We have uh, these little uh, fellas here to help heal us, and the old man. Yes, jeez, that old man is just everywhere, ain't he? Well, let's just hurry up and heal, and then <clears throat> I shall conduct business and withdraw everything I need for the mole cricket. In just a second, and apparently Kumatora has felt feverish, so I'll see you guys in just one moment. Alright, and we are back and good to go. Went ahead and just um, beefed up everyone's equips, very good stick, the Bantam charms, the bear hats, uh, nothing changed with that, the white ribbon and the Bantam charm, and then the bear hat, so yeah. Nothing really all the different, so let's go ahead and let's approach Lydia. I believe. <laughs> Oh dear me, my little bunnies have run off. This is quite a surprise, you see. We haven't had visitors in some time. You must be cold. Come inside and warm up. Well, we sense that there is a, um, a needle nearby. And there's a pig mask here. Oh, boink. I found him lying unconscious outside my house. It looks like he went on a scouting mission and got separated from his friends. Hmm. The my gypsies being kind even when it means almost near death. Ah. <sighs> oh, so, so you're the one they call Lucas. I've heard about you from my own ear. They say you're the one who can pull the needles. Such a strong, sweet face. My name Lydia, the my gypsy of Snowcap Mountain. What you seek is behind this house. It's surreal, realizing the time has finally come for my needle to be pulled. I never thought this day would come to pass. When you pull the needle, I will vanish. This is our fate as my gypsies, so that is what must happen. When the time comes, I will welcome it with open arms. But there is one concern I have. Who will take care of my precious bunnies once I'm gone? No one will be here to look after them. Hmm. And then there's him. He still hasn't regained his strength yet. Hmm. That's an interesting case. I hope everything works out for the best when the time comes. We aren't permitted to interfere, and it's wrong of me to worry so much about it. I'm a mess. A horrible gypsy. I never believed the time would come. Lucas, pull the needle, because it's time. Alright. Well... Do us the favor of unlocking the door, and let us go. Now then, have faith that the time has come, and go pull the needle. I've unlocked the door for you. Let's head on out. What is that? Is this what it sounds like when the time comes? No. It's a very familiar song. It's a very familiar enemy. And the pig mask has woken up. We better rush out and see what's going on. And it seems we're just a second late. Damn it. Uh, there we go. Uh, seems that the masked man has supposedly gone there before we could make it. Damn it. Ugh. Go ahead and hurry. Come on. I mean, I know the whole thing is shaking, but come on. Get moving. Go, go, go. 
and you see that the mass man is once again hold the needle before we can make it. Damn it. It seems those pork beams are making a run. Getting out of dodge, I guess. Looks like we have a one on one confrontation. Hmm. There's a sense of familiarity, possibly. <laughs> But there's also a chimera. And it seems the masked man is making a run and leaving us to deal with the chimera. <sighs> Let's go. We take on the steel mech gorilla. Uh, first thing we want to do is try to make it cry as well as um, lower its offense as quickly as possible. Luckily, Boney has a couple more thunder bombs to use. So you can at least do some good damage. Just lower his stats, make it um, a little less powerful than usual, and try to make him cry. Here we go. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and let's beef up ourselves with the defense up. Let's lower his offense any further. Um, let's just throw another thunder bomb. There we go. <coughs> Here we go. Lowers offense. I believe that's the most we'll be able to lower it. Try to defense up. So everyone has more defense and can take more damage. Use another defense up because I know we can use it. Use a defense down on him. And throw another thunder bomb because we are able to. Here we go. He short circuited. So it looks like he won't be able to do much. Just lower his defense even further. Or lower his defense however much we can. There we go, raise everyone else's defense. He went berserk, luckily he missed everyone. Uh, let's see. What do I want to do? Eat a pork stew, get some Kumatora. Lower his defense once more. Uh, I throw a bomb at him, just so we do some good damage. There you go, another defense down, just so that way he can be more susceptible to damage. Kumatora heal up. He's going berserk. Miss everyone again. Uh, beef jerky on Boney. Uh, I guess now we can just practically start wailing on him at this point. It's just thunder alpha him. And very much we can do. Let's have Boney heal up. There you go. We'll berserk. Pull out a beef jerky just to heal a Boney. Didn't hit anyone. He went berserk. He hit pretty hard. I guess I healed up a little. Just attack. Attack. Uh, I don't think the saltwater gun will do much. Um, thunder. Attack. Come on. There we go. That did some good damage. There we go. Did it some decent damage. Kumatora got hurt a little. So use a beef jerky on her just so that way some of the damage is drawn back. Thunder. That attack. There we go. Just keep on wailing. Come to our heal up a little. Still going berserk. Uh, he's just hitting everyone now at this point. Um, it's life of beta. Mm, bony. Uh, that's sincerity dumpling Lucas. And sincerity dumpling Kumatora. There you go. Just Kumatora has more health. One berserk, missed. Lucas ate up, and then Boney's just gonna get a mega heal. There we go. Um, uh, what to do? What to do? We can try flashing him. Go for another thunder. I don't think the salt water gun would do much, so let's just attack normal. Let's try hitting the thunder alpha. There we go. Flash again. Didn't work. Okay, it's fine. One berserk once more. Attack. Thunder Alpha. Attack. There you go. Just keep one wailing. Hopefully we'll be close. Ah, he's just doing. Oh, jeez, no. That is no good. Um. Come on, come on, come on. Heal, 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 heal. Oh my God! That was just one second too late. You've got to be kidding me. 
Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Sincerity. Oh, jeez. Sincerity on both. Heal up as much as you guys can. Like, ASAP. There we go. At least we have more health. Uh, heal up once more. There we go. Just start healing up ASAP. Berserk. There we go. Um, let's try and let's keep Thunder off. Uh, let's try the salt water gun. Why not? Let's see if it'll do anything. I uh, did some decent damage. There we go. Did some good couple damage. Went berserk like usual. Uh, damn it! This is getting really close. I have no more goods. I can only attack and heal at this point with Bony. What do you mean? I don't know what to do with them, man. I have to wait. Um, attack. There we go. Did good, decent amount of damage. Uh. Kind of do a good combo. Attack again. Come on now. Should be done. Be gone, please. Damn it. Berserk, like always. Oh my gosh, how are you not gone? I w Just disappear. Oh, I'm healing the wrong person. Kumator needs to stay in this because Kumator can do more. Yes! There we go. Thank goodness. Oh my sweet but Jesus! Here we go, nine thousand experience. Kumator hit level thirty, which is awesome. Bony hit thirty-two, so that's giving them both a chance to catch up. Even though Lucas is gonna be a little behind. Damn it! That masked man, could he be the one pulling the needles? Is Lydia all right? Well, let's go ahead and let's rush back and check. It seems like she's heading out. She's gonna go inspect the needle. Hmm. Damn it. Lucas, someone other than you has pulled the needle. Whatever is inside that person's heart has been passed on to the dragon. You must pull the rest of the remaining needles from here on out. It's two to one. There's only four more needles that remain. Before I disappear, take this memento of me. Take good care of it. We get ourselves Lydia's memento. Lucas, this is it. The time has come. Believe in that and keep pushing forward. This is where I say farewell. Don't worry about me. You can use the white box at the top of this mountain to leave. Also, go and ask my little pig mask friend what he wants to do now. And there we go. We say farewell to Lydia. Bye, B. Send hugs and kisses to the next Majipsy for me. We say farewell to Lydia. We return to see what the pork trooper wants to do now. I secretly listen in on your conversation. Me and you are enemies. Don't bother with me. Just go do what you need to do. I have no intention of helping you guys out. That Majipsy helped me out though, even though I'm a complete stranger. So I'm gonna stay here and look after his rabbits. Then we'll be even. Hold it right there! Don't run around inside, you dummy. It'd be no laughing matter if you stepped out a bunny. Alright, so we'll just walk right out. Just so that way... We can have fair deposit of Lydia's mementos. I might as well show this. Because we went out. Yep, you're a friendly de item deposit guy. Let's just deposit that. There we go. I don't think there's really much else 
on everybody else's end. Yeah. The gods are watching over you guys. You're incredible. You're amazing. Seriously. You're the real inspiration. We're right behind you, supporting you 100% off from the sidelines. Yeah. It's always good to hear. Let's go ahead and just give it one last heal. And, uh... Let's see. <sighs> yep. We're all at full. Let's go ahead and let's return back inside Lydia's. Let's head on through. And, well, make way to that white box that Lydia told us about. The Snow Cap Mountain? Yeah. Let's go ahead and let's make leave. I love the way that we leave Snowcap Mountain, it's amazing. Let's go ahead and let's scale the big place. Ah, look at this old two bits. We're all pixels now, don't worry guys. Let's go ahead and circle around and take the white box. <laughs> Which so happens to rocket us out of here. That's one way. To get off a mountain, if you ask me. And I just love what the white box truly is. You can't really, you, know, you can somewhat tell what it is now. But if you can't figure it out or haven't, we see it's a refrigerator. <laughs> it's a fridge, which is beauty. <laughs> and it looks like we've made it back to Tasmili. This is the white metal box you rode here from Snowcap Mountain. Let's see what this little thing has to say. It's a bottle. There's a jar here that's too hard to ignore. Inside is a letter. Read it. Hell yeah. This way. Okay, well, looks like we're gonna be entering Candrum Pass. I wonder what for. Well, in order to find out, let's head through. And it doesn't seem like there's much available at the moment. Let's head a little ways over, and ah, we see a familiar f uh, table. There's a jar here. Let's go ahead and read it. Attacked. Very bad. Come to Thunder Area. Thanks, thanks. Hmm. Well, I say we make way over there in the next video. I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. Hopefully you all did enjoy. If you did, please show me some love and support by hitting that like button. Comment down below what you all enjoyed or would love to see. Share with all of your friends, family, or anyone you think might enjoy this type of gameplay over commentary. And subscribe. And also hit that little bell for daily notifications. But thank you all so much for watching. And I will most definitely see all of you dudes next time. Peace out, everybody.